A deadly year on Valley Roads has local leaders searching for ways to make our roads safer. We're aware of at least 54 traffic deaths in Clark County since January 1st. The city of Anderson hopes new technology will be part of the solution, red light sensors. They've already been installed in 12 intersections. And Fox 5's Mike Allen is live at Eastern and Horizon Ridge to explain these new devices and how they'll work. Mike. Yeah, John, you probably won't catch these as you're driving around. You've really got to look for them. They're facing the sidewalk side of the street. Here are a couple set up here at Eastern and Horizon Ridge in Henderson. It's those two sensors up there. You just saw another one light up. They're set up at a dozen intersections in total around Henderson. And they won't take a picture of you, but they will help police catch you if you run a red light. Here's how. Run a red light in Henderson and you'll risk these lights tipping off a nearby police officer. It's not a camera per se, it doesn't photograph anybody. All it does is shoot a beam of LED light. It's just a strong LED light. Henderson Police Sergeant Roger Matuzak says they were set up a couple months ago using money through a grant from the Clark County Office of Public Safety. When the signal turns red, this illuminates at the exact same time to tell us that that signal is red. They're at 12 high traffic intersections throughout the city. Spots chosen by looking at crash data, traffic volume, and citizen complaints. The more traffic through an intersection, the more likely you're to have red light violations, the more likely we are to get complaints about it. When the light turns red and the indicator lights up, a traffic officer sitting on a motorbike just down the road will see it and will watch for people running the red light, which the officer otherwise would not be able to see. We can sit in a driveway, not immediately at the intersection, further down the road so that we can enter the flow of traffic with moving traffic so that we're not crossing into the cross traffic in an intersection. It makes it safer for the officers conducting the enforcement. Sergeant Matuzak says the department is just now starting to collect data on these indicators and will be looking for the impact they have on traffic safety. I think anything we can do to make an improvement is going to be beneficial to everybody. And after six months of collecting data, the department is then going to look at that and determine whether any other uh, intersections in the city of Henderson are worthy of putting sensors like the ones behind me. Reporting live tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. We have a full list of the 12 intersections with these indicators on our website, fox5vegas.com.